Hi, I'm Jonathan Kaplan. Welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm here to talk about my fifth movie, the first picture I made for a major film corporation, Columbia Pictures, the modern western with trucks instead of horses, White Line Fever. Carol Joe is back. Jerry waited two long years. Now it's time to make a life for themselves. White Line Fever came about as a result of the success of Truck Turner a movie that I made for AIP starring Isaac Hayes. It had opened in Detroit and Chicago and done Bafo box office. The tribute for White Line Fever landed on Columbia executive Peter Guber's desk over the weekend and he came into the office Monday to read in Variety that Kaplan's truck movie, Truck Turner, had done Bafo biz at the box office in Detroit and Chicago. Of course, there are no trucks in Truck Turner, that's the name of the lead character, but Guber, thinking he was getting my next truck epic, purchased the treatment and put us into the fast track of development and thus White Line Fever, the modern western with trucks instead of horses, was born. Written by me and Ken Friedman, uh, we had both driven across the United States to come to Los Angeles and been impressed with the, the number of trucks that almost killed us on our way there. So both being Peckinpah fans, we tried to do a sort of Peckinpah-like picture about a truck driver on a rampage of revenge when his employment is taken away after he's served his country in the Air Force. We put as many Peckinpah players as we could in the picture. L.Q. Jones, Slim Pickens, R.G. Armstrong, and of course Dick Miller's in the movie. Jan Michael Vincent was cast by Peter Guber, who felt that he had a rising star. One of the things that White Line Fever might be remembered for in film history is that that's the picture in which Jan Michael Vincent was introduced to cocaine. And I think that that may have had something to do with his not becoming the big star that Guber hoped he would be. The picture did very well. It was a huge success for Columbia. And now I was suddenly an action-adventure director. My career was off and running. Sexploitation to black exploitation to action-adventure to female-driven drama to television. What a career arc.